morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, January 23rd, 2013. The biggest fire in seven years has struck Chicago. One third of the entire Chicago Fire Department's on duty personnel responded to a five alarm fire in the Bridgeport section of the city on Ashland Avenue last night. It was a uh, uh, abandoned warehouse that was owned by the Harris Marcus Group on 3757 South Ashland Avenue. Of course, it was freezing in Chicago, bitter conditions for the firefighters. The blaze started at about 9.15. It was declared under control at 12.30 this morning, although it was still burning. Prime Minister David Cameron in England made a speech this morning promising a decisive referendum within five years. Uh, in which Britons would be able to vote on whether or not they wanted to remain in the European Union. This, of course, is uh, provisional on uh, Mr. Cameron winning the next election. Uh, I think Mr. Cameron is going to be quite surprised. I doubt very much whether or not Britons are going to vote in this era of globalization to divorce themselves from the European Union and stand alone. The speech, of course, is roiling financial markets right now. Data aggregator property claim service has increased its insured loss estimate from Superstorm Sandy up to 18 and three quarter billion dollars. This is leaving investors in a cat bond issued by Swiss Re facing possible losses. Approximately $80 million of uh, notes from Swiss Re in a cat bond that was sold in 2011 would trigger in the event of a $20 billion loss. They see a property claim service only needs to increase its uh, estimate now by 10% in order to trigger the loss, which undoubtedly will occur. They will increase it because of the business interruption claims that are still out there. Brokers have seen investors trying to dump their exposure on the secondary market. However, payouts are rare. Uh, uh, 210 property cat bonds issued since 1997, only eight of them have ever had to pay out. Meanwhile, the uh, rating service uh, Fitch is saying that Bermudian reinsurers should emerge from Sandy relatively unscathed, and they uh, predict that they're going to report an improved combined ratio of 95% for 2012, meaning that for each dollar they took in, they had to pay out 95 cents on claims and administrative costs and salaries and everything else. Uh, this compares pretty favorably with the 107% that they had to pay out during the uh, super catastrophe year of 2011. Fitch says that they're still considering Sandy an earnings event, not a capital one. Uh, again, I think they may be whistling a little bit in the dark. There are a lot of claims out there that have yet to come in. Cutter's insurance sector in the Middle East reported almost a 9% year-on-year drop in profits for the first three quarters of 2012. This is contrary to just about everybody else who reported profits, uh, increased profits, for the first three quarters of 2012. Again, in comparison to 2011, the record natural disaster year, Cutter has been tattered as a uh, reinsurance hub in the Middle East. A number of companies, including Lloyd's, have a presence there. The uh, Cutter Investment Fund, which is traded in London on the stock exchange, reduced its investment in the Cutter insurance sector from 3.4% at the end of 2011 down to just 2.2% at the end of 2012. Rex Tillerson, the CEO of ExxonMobil, is a virtual head of state. After uh, discussing uh, uh, oil questions in Baghdad the, uh, yesterday with the Iraqi president, he arrived in uh, Switzerland today where he met with the head of Iraq's Kurdish regional government. The uh, ExxonMobil company says that they may be exploring new options with the Kurds' rival, the central government in Baghdad. Uh, Tillerson's talk followed a rare meeting Monday with Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki uh, Exxon had planned to sell a key stake in Iraq South and focus instead on a contract in Kurdistan. Uh, that, in fact, may now change. No word on what will happen at the meeting with the Kurds. At least 23 people have been killed in northern Nigeria by gunmen targeting, quote, anti-Islamic gamblers, quote, and forbidden meat traders. The gunmen are suspected to be members of Boko Haram, a separatist group that wants to establish an Islamic state in the northern part of the country. According to eyewitnesses, the gunmen came to a meat market in a Volkswagen golf car, carried out the operation, i.e. the killing of the 23 people, and then left. Staff at a chemicals factory in northwestern France are working to stop a gas leak that has spread a foul odor 
to Paris and also to Southeast England. Uh, the French ecology minister visited the plant yesterday, said there was no health risk. Thousands of people from as far away as Paris and London have complained of nausea and headaches. The gas that's uh, being smelled is mercaptan, which is an additive to natural gas and said to be harmless. It leaked yesterday from a plant run by a French subsidiary of the U.S. chemical manufacturer, Lubrizol. It's located near Rouen, about 75 miles northwest of Paris. Winds blew the cloud over northern France last night and this morning into England. A number of events were canceled, football matches, etc., and the uh, authorities in Kent and uh, southeastern England issued health advisories. People have been told to stay indoors and keep doors and windows closed due to the gas leak. It smells like a rotten egg, supposedly. The temperature here in uh, central New Jersey this morning was 9 degrees. The northeastern U.S. is in the midst of a bitter cold snap that's extending uh, as far west as, in fact, Minneapolis. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.